lecture we are going to discuss about grid computing so it is a continuation of cloud computing lecture series where we have already discussed about uh, distributed computing in the previous video so if we will discuss the definition of grid computing three types of definition it has mentioned first one is pca webopedia doc, uh, dot com has mentioned a form of networking unlike conventional network that focus on communication among devices grid computing harnesses unused processing cycles of all computers in a network for solving problems too intensive for any stand alone machine that means it will be helpful for a system to create a network and to solve hard problems similarly ibm has defined grid computing Uh, which enables virtualization of distributed computing and data resources such as processing network bandwidth storage capacity uh, to create a single system image granting users and applications seamless access to vast it capabilities so here we can say that uh, as we are using a distributed uh, system and we are creating a virtualized environment and it is very much similar to cloud we can say or it is the uh, previous level of cloud computing we can say so here we are creating a virtual en environment and we are creating more than one um, virtual machine for the processing purpose or uh, to use other kind of resources like network bandwidth or storage capacity uh, sun microsystem has defined like grid computing is a computing infrastructure that provides dependable consistent pervasive and inexpensive access to computational capability so basically it will provide you some computational unit some re computational resources for further processing so this is the definition so next is electrical power grid so we must have heard about this terminology electrical power grid so as we know that we have some electricity communication in our home office or in some organization so from that it has come to the picture so here what happened from a particular joint we are accessing those electricity we are collecting those excess electricity and it is again transmitted to some other circuit so use electricity through circuit is an example of electrical power grid uh, similarly power grid many power grid will link together and which will again supply electricity to many power plants also so this is the example how power grid uh, is functional using the uh, concept of grid technology but in case of computing uh, if you will analyze the gain access to computing resources like uh, if we have a pool of resources so how more than one user can access those resources simultaneously means simultaneous access to a pool of resources so gain access to computing resources processor storage data applications can also be accessed by the uh, one or many user at a time uh, so it will also form a grid the grid provides the me mechanism needed to access them so basically to access these resources or this pool up uh, unit we need to create one mechanism to access this resources or this processing unit so this is the uh, uh, com grid computing and how it is related to electrical power grid analogy next is when we should use or why this come to has picture means why grid computing we are using uh, for information sharing whatever the data we are collecting we are storing somewhere to share the information among, uh, among the user among the group of organization uh, we are using this grid technology similarly efficient use of resources so more than one user can also access these resources using some mechanism so efficiently we can use the resources to solve common problem like uh, uh, virtual organization so if we are working in a organization and we are looking forward to solve a common problem so simultaneously more than one user will access those uh, problem or they can access those resources to solve a particular problem so in that case also grid computing can be used 
local community uh, local communities link to participate like uh, more than one community uh, community will uh, work together or work collaboratively um, uh, they will participate in a particular problem solving uh, idea so in that case also grid technology uh, can be used last one is transparent and seamless communication with user so it will provide uh, us a communication or transparent communication uh, with the user so this is the uh, reason why we are uh, focusing on grid computing next is where it is needed like to solve scientific or research problem in that case grid computing can be uh, used and uh, as we know that in scientific and research problem in computational simulation problem we have large amount of data so to use those large amount of data to use those large amount of file processing of those large files uh, we need uh, some high intensive uh, computational facilities so in that case also uh, grid computing uh, can be used similarly for data visualization purpose or exploiting underutilized resources in that case also uh, grid computing can be used and uh, this figure is uh, saying about who can use this grid computing particularly so in in case of some uh, physical application some uh, reactors application in that case uh, we can use grid computing similarly in weather forecasting uh, natural disaster management in that case also some mechanism some application we can develop to uh, which can be use grid computing technology next is different types of grid so here there are five types of grid we have mentioned so first one is the uh, computational grid so basically computational grid uh, this will provide us a secure access to huge full of shared processing power which will be suitable for high throughput application and also it will provide us intensive computing so this is the use of computational grid similarly data grid will provide us uh, an infrastructure which will store data or for data discovery or for handling of the stored data uh, or the manipulation of large amount of data in that case data grid can be used and uh, next type of grid is collaboration grid so in collaboration grid what happened when we are dealing with some advanced collaboration among many organization or among many communities where large pool of resources are shared in that case collaboration type of grid can be used next is your network grid uh, which will provide us basically a fault tolerance or high performance communication services so basically here each uh, node in the grid will uh, act as a router between two communication point and uh, for speed up the communication purpose this type of grid is used basically and last one is the utility grid and uh, this utility grid is for basically data or uh, computation cycle or where software resources is shared in that case utility uh, grid is uh, uh, mentioned uh, for example the application which can be run on one machine and all the user can send their data to be processed to that machine and receive the result back in that case utility uh, grid will come to the picture so these are the types of grid we have uh, mentioned similarly in the diagram in the right hand side we can see these are the components of grid uh, users can also this grid environment similarly different sites uh, which can access also this grid environment beside this user and site also group of uh, group of people or group of data also or group of member also can access this grid environment so these are about uh, grid computing which is the previous step of cloud computing we can say so after that many type of computing has already evolved like utility computing cluster computing then cloud computing so this will be uh, these things we will do we discuss in the later lectures thank you